Hello, my name is Jackie Duncan, and I take care of the Kent House vegetable garden that you see here. I'm a master gardener, and I'm also a plant nut. I just love all kind of plants, especially native plants. But all the work in the garden is done by volunteers. We um, do all the weeding, the planting, the harvesting. So we do all that. And the food that comes out of the garden, if they're cooking over at the open hearth kitchen, they use some of the food out of the garden. And then we also partner with the Good Food Project and extra food goes over to the food bank that we don't use here. And by partnering with the Good Food Project, they provide us some seeds and plants, and most importantly, some uh, organic compost soil for our raised beds here. So, um, everything we do in the garden, we try not to use any chemicals. No chemical fertilizer, no chemical pesticides. So we use uh, a lot of the, uh, like BT or, or Dipple or uh, diatomaceous earth, uh, lemon joy. I mean, we use a bunch of different things uh, in order to fight back uh, the competition with the bugs. But anyway, our standard work day is the third Saturday of every month. So if you're interested in gardening and want to learn about it and help us weed a little bit, come out. Uh, we're here in the morning, usually from 8 to 12. And so if you'd like to do that. But let's show you some of the plants in the garden. Let's walk through a little bit. And um, right here, we have um, a lot of our winter plants are, are going out. And this is broccoli. It's blooming here, you see. It's going to seed, so it's just about done. But I like to leave it in the garden for a while because it attracts pollinators with the blooms. Um, because as you see, there's not a lot of other flowers to attract uh, pollinators so that's kind of important to me this uh, the seed we uh, we planted this from seed from seed packets that we got from the good food project here beside it um, we also have we had a good crop of spinach this year it was also planted from seed from the good food project but you notice it's getting extension on and so it's going to go it's going to start blooming pretty soon and so it's pretty much out too these these winter vegetables don't like this hot temperature. So if we keep going down the garden, over here we have uh, potatoes. We have got two beds of potatoes. Um, these were planted January 25th. I, I plant my potatoes early because it seems like we really don't get a freeze. And actually I've had a freeze after we have planted potatoes before and they just come right back and so it doesn't really seem to hurt them. These potatoes, with red potatoes, we got from uh, Petrus. And, uh, and over here is a, a real a big uh, plant. It's an artichoke. It's the first time I've grown artichoke, so we're gonna see what happens this year. I know it has a real pretty purple bloom on it. Of course, we have to pick the bloom before it blooms so that we get the fruit to eat, though. And then we have um, carrots. These carrots are probably a month old, so they're not ready to eat yet. But they were planted from seed, a uh, seed packet from the Good Food Project again, as well as this oak leaf uh, lettuce that's on its way out too. So it needs to be picked and eaten and gotten rid of. And then we keep going. Uh, let's see, over here on the right, um, it's a little baby corn. It, it's only about a week old, you know, and so I've got three little rows planted. You know, you got to have more than one row of corn so it cross pollinates. Of course, you can always hand pollinate it by shaking the tassels together. So that's always an option. Um, and then we have a few more things in the garden right now. Uh, beets, and they're we're picking beets right now, and they're just about done too. Um, but uh, beets are supposed to be really healthy for you. And these were planted from seed also from the Good Food Project. Okay, our next vegetable here are, are early girl tomatoes. I bought these at uh, Petrus, and they've only been in the ground a couple of weeks. So they, I planted them before and they did really good for me, so I hope, hope they do the same again this year. 
And then in the back back here, uh, we have comfrey that just grows and we just kind of keep it for greenery. And then I usually plant zinnias in the back for pollinators. And so that we have something to attract the bees and wasps and flies and whatever to come and pollinate our plants. So that's, that about does it for the garden today. And I want to thank you for your time. And, and gardening is a, a great hobby for everybody. It's, uh, it's healthy for your body because it gives you exercise and it's healthy for your mind to, to keep uh, good thoughts going. So uh, if you want to help us out, pull a little weeds and learn a little bit about gardening, just show up the third Saturday in the morning and we'll be here. Thank you.